You've, uh, you've got some things to say about Greedy Williams. I do, Wes. And here's one of them. <laughs> you know, one of Freddie Kitchen's latest wisdoms was to let corner, rookie corner Greedy Williams know that his draft day Super Bowl prediction should not be repeated. You know, maybe wait for a winning season in Berea first. Williams, if you remember, also talked about tearing up the league, along with last year's number four overall pick, Denzel Ward. That's uncomfortably close to Johnny Manziel's wreck this league for my, my uh, preference. And you could say that Williams is just an excitable young guy getting carried away on draft day, but, well, those same excuses were made for Manziel. Fact is, Kitchens is right when he says the Browns haven't done anything yet. What will be fascinating to watch is whether the rookie head coach is as plain speaking with Odell Beckham Jr. and other vets as he is with young players. People close to Kitchens think he will be. But like going to the playoffs more than once in 20 years, it's apparently easier said than done. I think in a, in a perfect world for Freddie Kitchens, I think that was a perfect setup that Greedy, Greedy Williams came in and said that because it gave, it gave uh, Kitchens the opportunity to do exactly what he did. Yeah. Otherwise, he would have to manufacture it. Yeah, and my, my point on Odell Beckham Jr., I understand he's an established player. I understand that these workouts are voluntary, right? Right. But he is coming to a new team, and if you put a polygraph on Freddie Kitchens and said, would you want him to be here? Of course. Of course he would. He would prefer it. So would John Dorsey. So when the media asks, why isn't the guy here, Freddie has turned it around to, oh, don't. There's nothing to worry about because he's in shape, and if he isn't in shape, ready for the season, it's on me. That's not the point. The point is Freddie Kitchens can't make Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, uh, get along with his teammates and, and meld with them, and that's what this thing is about. It's about saying, I'm a leader on this team. I want to be there when the young players are here, and I want to show them that I'm going to uh, be a leader and, and help this team. Did, did you hear any of the comments as a uh – uh, video Instagram or something was, was set out about showing uh, Beckham working out and making fantastic plays, mm -hmm. and then they realized it was made last June. <laughs> I didn't know that last yeah. part. I did see it. But, but you know, it's not, it's not the point about him. Like, he tweeted back to, I think it was Tony Grossi, and said, you know, basically when Grossi r wrote something similar to what I just said, he said, I'm working out, you know. What's the problem? And well, that's not the issue. The issue no. isn't like nobody's saying that he's sitting in a in a bar somewhere when he should right. be out on no, the field. No, the, the problem is getting together that's with all. his quarterback that's Baker all. Mayfield.